Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 24, NASDAQ's down 102, S&P's off 17. Gold. Gold contract up $4.70, trading at 16.80 an ounce. We have silver up 19 cents, $19.67 an ounce. Light Street crude up 56 cents. $83.47 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down one full point plus 13 ticks at 112.26. The 30-year down two plus seven ticks at 128.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 600 ticks, trading out here at a price point of 111.243. The Euro's at 98. The Yen is at 142 and the British Pound is at 112 to one US dollar. iPhone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, I'm going to go into the futures first, man, because this has been a really cool day if you're in front of a screen. And as to the aspect of how this continued to try to get the lower price. So if we take if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is this, okay? This morning you had you had it was a full about a, an hour and 10 minutes going sideways couldn't break the low couldn't break the low we finally broke the low folks but when we broke that low now these are on 10 minute bars you watch me all the time that's what i trade off that's what i love uh bottom line we broke that low folks inside the the s p's with one half of the contracts one half okay the bottom line that says what? What does that say? That says there's no more sellers down below. Now, I'm not going to be the only one that understands there's no more sellers down below because because we're so close to the lows, right? If you break the lows and you have sellers, that S&P, okay, at the time, the, the S&P got down to a price point of 37.63. Man, that thing should have went to 37, okay? That's how that w works out. That being said, that's not the, 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 the bottom line. What, because inside the out of time in the trade, you look to both ways. Well, what did we get next? Well, what we got next was that when we had the thrust higher at uh, 1220, it had volume. It had good volume. It had volume of 48,000 contracts. Now, what's going on now? We just took that out with 55,000 contracts. Guess what? We're going higher. You're going to a rejection of price, you're going higher. Now, watch this. This is really cool. So, we're dealing with the bottom, right? And so let me show you something with the bottom here. You know, I talk a lot about the aspect of markets testing lows, testing highs, right? And testing the highs of lows. Well, guess what? If you look at the SPX, the high of the low bar is 38.38. Now, we came down uh, into a price point of 37.49. Right now we're at 37.66. This is on a weekly. So we are at into the highs of the lows. Now, if we close tomorrow above 38.38, that is going to be technically a test of the highs of the lows now that's and then so now let's go because what you'd be looking for you'd also be looking for the test on lighter volume so now let's put this up and we'll put the spy up and we'll take a look at it and see what exactly we have there okay so when we take a look at the spy right now what's going on is that we are testing 645 million shares, right? Well, the bottom line, we're only at uh, 321. So if we get if we get this rejection, man, bottom line, can't bust them down, what? Where are we going? We're going up. We're going back to the top of that 431. And listen, that can consolidate there for a long period of time. We'll see. Uh, we'll have a better understanding on the bounce to see if the volume contracts again as it gets up to, to the higher level. What that would mean is that you're going to be in a consolidation. 
A wide consolidation like that, folks, okay, is a field day. That's, that's the bottom line. It's a monster field day. Now, let's get over to the dollar. Um, well, let's go to gold first. There's, there's, yeah, because the bottom line, gold did have um, volume out here today. The question is that because of Russia and the UK and nukes and all that, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think any of us really understand the ramifications you know, it's one thing hearing, you know, Putin going out of his mind. Um, it's another thing that if it ever happened, okay? And, yeah, they were running to gold. Um, you know, so I'd say that's yes. Technically, I like how it's coming in to the rest of these bars because it's coming into the bar and you have an expansion of volume. We go into the dollar, and this is still going to be the wild card. We had the Bank of Japan last night came in with intervention. So what you have with the dollar is that it's hanging at highs, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, if we go over to the Bank of Japan, we take a look at the yen. What you're going to see is the bottom line. They came into the market. You know, <laughs> I, the yen went from a price point of one, was that 140? 145. Then hit a low of 140, and you're laying it out at 142.21, which is still highs, man. That's the real bottom line. They, they can probably intervene as much as they want. Um, it's going to have to be uh, a lot more intervention, and I expect uh, that, you know, the, the amount, the strength of the dollar, no doubt, is doing mayhem, and, you know, we'll see uh, if larger traders start selling the dollar. And they very well might, you know, because the bottom, bottom line is that, you know, you know how these things go. You go up, down, you go all around, and, you know, it can be very fast, it can be very furious, particularly um, in the context of the foreign currencies, you know. And when, you, when we take a look at what Powell said yesterday, where Powell was going is that he wants four, so the Fed said they want 4.3, folks, by 2023. They didn't say they want it by the end of 2022. Well, that's, that's only 1.25. Well, yeah, we're, we're already at 3, uh, we're 3.25 right now. You know, so guess what? This thing wants to bounce. Dow's up 94, NASDAQ is down 78, S&P's uh, down 6.5. We'll come right back.